Bill, welcome to Brighouse Town TV. We've announced uh, earlier in the week that John Francis has joined us as a joint assistant manager uh, alongside Stacey Reid. How happy are you to bring John to the club? Yeah, I mean, really happy. Uh, I mean, you know, we've had a bit of a reshuffle in, in the backroom staff. Uh, more to do with, obviously, uh, Leon's uh, personal circumstances and, and uh, making sure that we can support him around that and, and make you know, because we still want to keep Leon part of everything we do and, and he's been a valuable part of, of everything we've done to this point. Uh, so John comes in uh, with, with great experience, obviously, from a local uh, uh, player knowledge, you know, football in the area, youth knowledge, his experience as a player, his experience as a coach and his experience as a manager uh, are there for everybody to see. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, really glad to get him on board uh, and, and you know uh, help us in what, what what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve. I just think you know we've, we we have run short uh, on staff over previous seasons with with Wardy sort of moving into his academy role as well. Uh, that that left us a little bit short, so we needed to bulk up in the staffing uh, uh, department, and that's what we've done. And John's a great addition to that. Excellent. Uh Someone else that we've announced um, this week is also Shiraz Khan, who's decided to stay with the club, um, despite fighting off interest from other clubs around um, our league. How happy are you to keep Shiraz with the club? Yeah, I mean, Shiraz, to be honest, he, he never really wanted to leave. Uh, spoke, I had long conversations with Shiraz over the, over the last sort of couple of weeks. Uh, uh, and, you know, any player this time of year has to sort of have a look at, you know, uh, what options are out there. And, um, yeah, yeah you know, options from some of our rivals. Um, but fortunately enough, he's agreed to, to stay with us for next season. And, and that's great. You know, Shiraz is a great lad. The lads love him. Uh, you know, he's, he's a good asset to the squad and the team. Uh, it, you know, he was, he was showing his, 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 his worth, certainly during points in last season. And I expect him to continue next season. He's a younger kid uh, with lots of potential. Um, we hope he fulfils that with us next season. Excellent. We're now starting to get a good... Squad built now. Um, I'm with the FA's guidance coming out as well. Uh, I'm looking for pre-season coming around the corner. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're due to start next week uh, with social distancing measures in place. Obviously, I do know some other teams that have that have started earlier, even because you know the lads are, are chomping at the bit, and and we've got to take into account that certainly a normal season, you know. Most players would only be off, so the season would end in April and pre-season would start late June, so they'd be off some seven to eight weeks. With this current scenario, you know, the season has been curtailed for three months already. So, you know, that's that's a big difference in the, in, in preparation and, and what the lads' bodies are used to. So now it's about getting, getting them back into a rhythm uh, for whenever the season starts. So we're going to start back next week. Uh, we'll build up from there. Um, as a, you know, as as guidance tells us, um, and and you know, we'll just make sure we're as prepared as we can be for for when the season's due to start. Yeah, and when the season is due to start, what's your plans for this season coming up? Um, I mean, you know, it's going to be a different season. Certainly, you know, there's been a lot of changes managerially across our league. Um, uh, you know, managers changing and moving along, and, and players shifting here and there. Uh, I expect it to be as competitive as ever, um, but I certainly expect us, you know, before the uh, COVID uh, uh, ended the season, you know, we had a what I'd consider to be a, a not a difficult season, but a below par season for the standards that we set ourselves. But that a lot of that was down to stuff that were outside of our control. You know, you look at the points deductions that we had during the season. You know, uh, obviously every team gets injuries and, and and stuff like that. But the effect of losing an informed striker because of the, some of the situations which were outside of our control, um, we were or would have certainly been within a shout of, of you know had that not all happened uh, in regards to the playoffs. So for next season, I, I expect us to be as competitive certainly, and that's what we'll be looking to do. I don't like setting up expectations externally and saying we're going to do this or we're going to do that. Uh, the main thing about my team is, is it's competitive and it's a team that I can be proud of, uh, that the fans can be proud of and the club can be proud of. And, and that's all that we can ask. Uh, and, and once we do that, we'll see where it takes us. Excellent. Bill, thanks for joining us and I look forward to seeing you next week. Start pre-season. Top man. Cheers, Demo.